Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be addressing the question, are women in Islam forced to wear hijab? A lot of the times nowadays, we see people saying, you know, I chose to wear hijab at this at this age, like, you know, when I was in 10th grade, uh, you know, I had like a moment where I just felt like it was the right choice for me. Or you hear people saying like, oh, my parents never asked me to wear hijab. In fact, they didn't even want me to wear hijab, but I just decided to wear it on my own. Oftentimes people will say things like that. That's pretty common to hear nowadays. For me personally, that's just not how it was. And telling my own hijab story, I think will help illustrate the answer to my question, whether women in Islam are forced to wear hijab. So for me, I wasn't provided a choice and I didn't have some kind of revolutionary moment where I just all of a sudden decided I wanted to wear hijab. And it was more just like I started wearing it at a certain age for a certain reason, and I'm about to tell you why. I had a fairly religious upbringing, and so I was taught from a young age what was halal, what was haram, meaning what was okay for me to do and what was sinful for me to do. I was taught that I needed to pray five times a day, that that was an obligation, that it was a sin for me to lie, and that it was a sin to drink alcohol. I was also ta taught that once I reached a certain age, I would be obligated to wear a hijab and cover my whole body except for my face and my hands and my feet when I was in public, so around people who weren't just my immediate family. So for me, I wouldn't say that wearing my hijab was like a choice in the sense that I you know, made some kind of grand decision. It was more an expectation that I was brought up with. Just like following any of the other rules of Islam were also an expectation for me. I was expected to follow all the rules of Islam and I was expected to not commit any sins. I was raised in an Islamic context. So once I reached the fourth grade, I started wearing hijab just at school, kind of to practice. So I was wearing hijab in fourth and fifth grade and then after school, if I didn't wanna wear it, like if I went to a friend's house, I wouldn't have to, I could do whatever I wanted. And that was a way for me to just kind of get used to wearing it in school because prior to that, I hadn't been. So to clarify when women in Islam have to start wearing hijab, or oftentimes it's when they reach puberty when a woman gets her period for the first time that's when she then becomes obligated to wear a hijab there's other things that might make a woman obligated to wear a hijab but usually it's the period when you start menstruating you're then obligated not only to wear hijab but you become obligated to do all of your obligations and avoid all the sins whereas before that if you commit a sin you weren't old enough where your sins will count against you and so of course I wasn't menstruating in fourth grade and only at the end of fifth grade did I start menstruating as soon as that happened I started wearing hijab in school as I already was and then outside of school as well which I hadn't been doing before so for me that was it it wasn't some kind of grand decision that I came to it was more just like I was expected to wear hijab by my family just as I was expected to do all the other Islamic things I was given time or this was my parents idea I was given time to practice without you know having to do it all the time and then once I got my period I started having to wear it all the time and I knew that and that was pretty much it and I didn't have any problems with it and there was no like big argument or anything like that it was just yeah I just started wearing it because I knew I was supposed to and if you're listening to this and thinking oh, you were forced that's just not the case people raise their kids with expectations all the time whether they're religious or not for example a lot of families expect their children to go to college they expect them to go to college and then get a professional job afterwards and nobody ever bats an eye at those families who are you know expecting their kids to reach that life milestone of graduating from college it's normal now of course sometimes kids don't follow with that expectation maybe they don't want to go to college and then they choose a different professional path that's just how it is sometimes children don't follow their parents expectations but all families put expectations upon their children they just might look different in different families depending on the family's context religiously or socially etc so to answer my main question are women forced to wear hijab in islam i would say no women are not forced to wear hijab no one is shoving it onto their head Like it was for me, it's often an expectation in families that women do wear hijab, just like it's an expectation that men cover certain parts of their body that they're obligated to cover. And modesty is something that is highly valued in Islam for both men and women. But that doesn't mean that the people who are Muslim, who are raised Muslim, 
in that religious context are being forced to wear the hijab. And just because in some families it's an expectation that a woman wears hijab and that a guy covers certain parts of his body doesn't mean that if that person chooses not to do it that they're going to be harmed or something like that. That's usually not the case. Usually what happens is, you know, if a family's stance is that, you know, their child should be doing you know, all the obligations and avoiding all the sins, then they'll make it clear to their child that that's how they feel, that's what they encourage, but they're not gonna like excommunicate their child from their family. It's a sin for a woman to not wear hijab past the age of, of puberty. But just because she's committing that sin, for example, doesn't mean that a woman who's wearing a hijab on a regular basis is necessarily a better Muslim than her. Not wearing a hijab is a small sin in, in Islam. It's not something that is on the caliber of lying, for example. Lying is an enormous sin. Missing prayers is an enormous sin. That being said, it is a sin to not wear one, and it is something that religious families oftentimes expect their children to do. And something I think nowadays, you may agree or disagree, I think oftentimes nowadays Muslim parents will make it very clear to their children, you know, your hijab is your choice, you don't have to wear it if you don't want to, this is what they tell their kids. Or they might or they might even, you know, encourage their child not to wear it. I've heard I heard of parents doing that before. And I think that's very much a reaction to Westerners accusing Muslims of being extremists and accusing Muslims of forcing their children to wear hijab. And so as a reaction to that, you know, a lot of people out there make it very clear to, to their social surroundings that they were not forced to wear hijab, they made some kind of grand choice at a certain age when they wanted to. And that sort of attitude towards wearing hijab, I think, is very much a reaction towards the accusation that women are forced to wear hijab in Islam. And I think obviously some families, that's just how they would be regardless of, of Westerners making that accusation, but I think it's represented as something that the child doesn't have to do, like by the family, because they don't want to seem like they fall into the stereotype, the Muslim stereotype. Me personally, because I, I'm Muslim and I plan on raising my children as Muslims and I plan on raising them to do what is obligatory upon them and to avoid what is sinful for them. I plan on raising my, my daughter, if I have one, very much the same way I was raised, that it's an expectation for them to wear a hijab after a certain age and you know but if for some reason this daughter of mine that i don't have decides not to wear hijab that doesn't mean that i'm going to never talk to her again i wouldn't react in that kind of an extreme way of course i would always encourage her to do what is best religiously and to avoid what is best to avoid religiously but i'm not going to push her out of my life for not making the choice that I want her to make or, or not following the expectation I want her to, her to follow. So yeah, that's pretty much the answer to my question. No, I do not think that women in Islam are forced to wear hijab, but it is an expectation for them to do so. So yeah, that's pretty much my video, and I hope it makes it clear that different families d deal with this in a different way, but the religious route is to raise your kids in a way that they know that following the religious rules is an expectation for them and that applies to all religious rules that's the way islam teaches us to raise our children thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i will see you guys next week inshallah assalamu alaikum bye